I'm a freelance lighting designer. Um, I uh, studied at Queensland University of Technology in the early 90s. I guess the first thing is, first point of call is what uh, Natalie, the choreographer, wants the work to look like and the atmospheres that she wants the, the piece to have. And then Bruce McKinvin, the set designer, um, uh, goes away and creates kind of a, a space and usually uh, starts off by doing a whole lot of um, uh, imagery that he sends through to me and I start um, sort of bouncing off that and kind of get a kind of an idea about where, where um, I want to take the lighting design in terms of integrating with what Bruce is doing and what Natalie is doing. I usually think of myself as almost like a director of photography in film. Um, I'm kind of creating a framing ratio for the audience to look at and even though an audience is looking at theatre as, as pretty much just a constant long shot, I'm designating what I want the audience to see and what I don't want them to see and I think that's the most exciting part about being a writing designer because you're actually making those framing choices. I kind of was quite inspired and excited about the um, heightened theatricality of the production and the kind of the sense of scale was really exciting. I think we all love good storytelling and I think and I think in dance that can be sometimes a little difficult to do but I think that um, we want to be sort of swept up in emotion when we're watching dance because dance is a very emotional kind of um, art form and I think that an audience will take away from this hopefully uh, snatches of uh, beautiful imagery with um, uh, also some fairly tragic elements and I think that's kind of always exciting to do something that has a, uh, a serious undertone and a challenging, a challenging look at a classical story is always really great for it, um, especially for a contemporary dance company and I think it, that it's exciting for an audience to be a part of that I suppose.